Welcome to this how-to on recovering from an ISO image of your Windows operating system. By now you have probably seen me on how to create an ISO image of your operating system. If you have not seen that tutorial, I recommend watching it. Hopefully at this point you are watching this because you want to know how to restore from an operating system failure and not because you are in panic mode wondering how to reload that snapshot you might have taken. We will need our recovery CD and we will also need our snapshot, which uh, for me is on this external hard drive. For this demo, I'm going to revert back to a snapshot I just took on my laptop. Because I will be running from the recovery CD, the qualities of the video for my screencast may not be that good. Uh, I apologize for that. The first step is to make sure we can boot from a CD. If you go into your BIOS, we can check this. If you don't want to do that, just place the CD in and see if it boots before Windows boots. If you go into BIOS, please make sure you only adjust the boot order and nothing else. I don't want you messing with any other setting unless you know what you're doing. For my laptop, to get into the BIOS, it is F2 during setup. Uh, so I just hit F2. For a Dell PC, I think it might be F11, but uh, I can't remember. Uh, but pretty much uh, every computer is different, so I can't help you out too much on how to get into your BIOS. Uh, so just refer to your uh, owner's manual for more information. Once you're in your BIOS, you just want to make sure your computer is set to boot from a CD. Again, don't mess with anything else in your BIOS. So for me, all I'm going to do is use my arrow key to go to the boot tab. Uh, again, um, every uh, BIOS is different, uh, so sadly I can't help you out too much here. Um, you'll just have to refer to your owner's manual. Uh, if you don't want to mess around in your BIOS because you feel uncomfortable, uh, you can try to put in the CD and see if the computer automatically boots from it. If it does, there's no need to mess with this step. And uh, you can see uh, for my situation, um, my CD-ROM uh, is booting first and then uh, my hard drive. So if there's something in my CD-ROM, it'll automatically boot. Uh, if not, it automatically gets bumped to my hard drive. Um, if I wanted to change these values, um, I just have to read down at the bottom of the screen um, and do the commands in order to uh, move the values up or down. Um, but since I'm already set up, uh, all I'm going to do is exit and um, I am not going to save any changes because I didn't do anything. Uh, if you did change your boot order, you'd want to uh, exit and save changes. So for me, we're just going to exit. Put the recovery CD into your CD-ROM. And what we're going to do is we are going to restart the computer. After you restart your computer, the CD should boot up just like this. And what we're going to do is we are going to select uh, normal mode. After you click normal mode, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. Um, at this point, if you want, uh, feel free to plug in your external hard drive um, that has your snapshot located on it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, simple restore wizard. So just click on that. And then we're just going to say next. And we're going to select our ISO image. Uh, conveniently, I have uh, named my external hard drive OS Backup, so it's easy for me to find. Um, C is the Windows drive, D is my data that's actually in the laptop, and then here's my external hard drive, so I'm going to click that. Uh, and then basically you have to find uh, the file uh, wherever you put it in, and I put it in a ton of folders, um, so I'm just getting there. So I put it in Windows 7. Um, this was just a demo I created for today. And finally I found my file. So you can just say open. And just say next. Here you can just say next. Okay, here uh, is just a little warning um, that if uh, I click the D drive, which has all my data, that would get wiped out. Uh, so I do not want to do that. Remember, I want to do the C drive because I want to restore my Windows partition. So um, it's hard to see, but there will be a little indent. Uh, I wish they made this a little bit more clear, but whatever. Make sure the drive that you want to restore uh, is clicked. And then you're just going to click Next. And here, uh, if you wanted to resize it, you could do that. I'm just going to leave the defaults. So I'm going to click Next. And 
and here uh, is just warning you of the changes so um, and it also says target partition is not free as current data will be lost uh, yes um, I know that that's fine And then uh, that's it. So now it's taking um, my snapshot that was on my external hard drive. It's dumping it to the C drive. Um, so whenever I took that snapshot, whatever uh, drivers, whatever uh, applications, whatever I had uh, installed on there uh, will be placed back at that time that I took the snapshot. And depending on how big the snapshot is, is depending on how long it'll take. Uh, my snapshot is 15.6 uh, gigs big. And it looks like uh, it's going to take maybe 15 minutes to restore that. So that's good. I'll be back up and running in no time. All right. Uh, once you're done and all finished up, um, it'll say all operations have been finished. And then you can just uh, click close and uh, just finish up the wizard. And at this point, um, what we're going to do is we are just going to say reboot the computer and it'll just reboot and automatically eject your CD. And with any luck, uh, Windows should start up exactly where we left off. Okay, so I am exactly where I left off uh, when I took the snapshot. Um, nothing has really uh, uh, changed at all. And uh, that is a good thing. Um, we'll just go to my D drive to make sure that that's all intact, which it should be. And everything uh, is normal. And uh, that's how simple it is. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on restoring from an ISO image of your operating system. Thanks for watching.